What's up YouTube? It's your boy Douglas M. And today I'll be going over the Watch On app. And I call it the Watch On TV app. I, that's how I say it. But uh, the Watch On app for your Samsung S4. Um, that's the first device that, that I've seen it available on. It reminds me of the Peel app um, that's usually on your Samsung uh, tabs and notes. Um, but um, the Samsung S4 is the first phone that I've seen something like this available for and probably because it has an IR blaster in the phone. The, S, the Samsung S4 has an IR blaster um, built into it and for those who don't know what that is, it enables your phone to act like a universal remote control for your TV, uh, DVD player and other devices, even a projector. Okay, so let's look at the app really quick. You see it says watch on right there so let's go ahead and click on it now it's not going to look like this for you when you first because I have mine set up um, so it's not going to look like this for you so you would have to set it up so let me just show you here I click here and go to my settings and I'm not going to change the room but I just want to show you here I have it set up to my three different rooms that I want to use this with so my living room settings are different, of course, than my bedroom settings and my bedroom settings different than my kitchen settings because I have three different TVs. But what I'm saying is it remembers all your devices in those specific rooms, which is awesome. And I tried up to five different rooms and it worked. I don't know how, what's the max, but I don't think most of us have more than five rooms we're going to use this with. So you're good to go on that part. What this part does here, um, it shows you, so it's three o'clock right now, and it shows you what's on TV or whatever at the time. Um, let's see, available now, okay. So it shows you, and it also, um, which I don't know why, but it also, when you set it up, it also acts if you want to integrate this with your Netflix account but I don't know what function that would serve because it's not like you can watch what's on Netflix and beam it to your TV. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I don't know how that, that would work. But um, anyway, when I click this, right here is it looks like a remote, right? You got your power button there, your volume, your channel up and down, your mute, your source, meaning that you can, I can change from HDMI 1 to HDMI 2 or the component to AV, uh, whatever. Uh, this right here, the 1, 2, 3, you know, if I manually want to change the channel, instead of up and down, I have a specific channel I want to go to, boom, there you go. Okay. So, after seeing all of this, we're going to go ahead and turn on my TV now just to give you a demo. All right, so there's my TV right there. It's off, and just to give you guys a heads up, um, my TV takes about six, about well, uh, eight seconds for it to turn on. Um, you'll notice that it will turn on when there's a bottom, there's a light on the bottom left of the TV that uh, illuminates when the, when the power is selected. So let's go to back to the app. All right, so you see it right here, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit power. One second, let me position this so you guys can see. All right, so remember, look to the bottom left. Boom, I just hit power. Okay, I'll try and zoom it. Okay, so the TV's now on. I turned it on from my phone. How awesome is that? Can your phone do that? Ask your friends that. Anyway, so we're going to change the channel uh, so you can see. See? We're going to change the channel right here. I'm going to go to 16. Oh, it didn't do it. It didn't catch it all. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Let me get back here. I'll do it again. You got to keep it. 
And see, when I hold it like this, it won't do it. So I have to actually face the TV. Like this part has to face the TV or your device, whatever, whatever you, you know. So I'm gonna turn to 16 and we'll be there. Now I'm gonna show you how I can, you know, turn up the volume. Let me zoom out a little so you can see. All right, so. So volume up. See that? I'm turning it up. I turned it up with my phone. I'm going to go ahead and mute it. Mute. So that's pretty cool. Now I will tell you with this, you can add favorite channels. You can add um, your, you know, your type of shows that you prefer to watch, whether it be comedy or drama, and it will know, I didn't set any of that up, but you can add that so it can know what to display for you to watch at that specific time. So since I didn't set that up, I'll just show you whatever they got here. Um, let's see. So let's go to the Anderson show real quick. You know, we have it on mute for copyright purposes. So we're just gonna, all I do is click on this, right? And then it's gonna say watch now on the bottom. I can get it there. See it there? So once I hit watch it now, it should change. Let me try and get a little closer. So I'm gonna hit watch it now. And it should change. And just like that. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. So now I'm going to show you some of the settings and different uh, different settings that you can do. So let's let's go ahead and say I wanted to change the room. All right. So I'm going to go to my living room. So now it's bringing up settings, it's changing the settings to my living room settings, which would be my TV, my cable box, and my, um, actually my surround sound, my AV receiver. Um, so all of that should come here. So like if I hit, so if I, if I hit it here, well it won't work in my kitchen, I can turn on, I can turn on, see right here? This turns. This is for the remote for the TV. This is the remote for this set top box, my cable box, and this is the remote for my AV receiver. So you know, obviously, you could just turn it on and off um, and change the volume. Oh, and it also has numbers here for. I don't know what I would use that for for my AV receiver, but you get the point. You may have a better use for that. Also, when I hit up here, these are the different types of, um, you know, shows that uh, it could search for you at that particular time. Movies, I guess, at that point, it would also search through your Netflix. Um, but, you know, I, I would have to try that out because I do have Netflix on my kitchen TV. I wonder if it would log into Netflix and show a movie. That would be pretty awesome. I don't know, I'm not gonna try that now, but if that does work, I'll put that in the description um, as well. That's pretty cool. Um, what else do I wanna show you? When I click available now on the bottom, if I click that, it says avail, I guess it will display what's available now or prime time at eight o'clock or a custom time of the day. That's pretty cool. If I, if I go into my settings, um, I'll show you here. This is where you would add a room right here. I would just click add a room and um, that'll be there. Um, this is some other stuff that you can do too as well. Oh, I forgot. This is what I want to really show you before I go. I go back into settings, right? And then I go to, um, oh, I just click any one of them. Like say I click kitchen. So, right, so this is the setup for my kitchen, right? 
But here's where I can, I can either do, I can delete the room here or I could add a device. So I want to show you what you can add here. So there, before I go, I want to show you that. So, you know, so these are all right now. And of course, you know, based on the Peel app that I'm used to, you know, this can change. They, they can add more devices to it. So right now you can add a set, a set top box, which is your cable box, DVD player, Blu-ray player, AV receiver, which is, you know, a surround sound uh, receiver, uh, streaming media, which could be Roku, Apple TV, um, you name it, any one of them. Um, and a home projector, as you see right there. Let's go ahead and click home projector and see what happens. It says, uh, what does it say here? Select a device brand. Let's just go into overtime. So I'll give you guys a freebie, whoever got a projector here. So these are all the name brands of uh, the projectors that it is compatible with. But uh, you can download the app and see that for yourself. Um, I just want to give you guys um, a quick example. So in the little room you can see here. See? All right. Well, anyway, that is the Watch On app. Um, Again, for your Samsung S4, if you're wondering what the heck that was, uh, that's what it is. If anything, hit like if you like the video. And uh, thanks for at least, you know, viewing my video. And um, I'll be coming back with some more Samsung videos, so stay tuned. Later.